Hey, Ted from TSC Toys with another green light unboxing. Today we have the uh, uh, Fire and Rescue Series 3, uh, Master Item 67000. This was released uh, fairly recently, a few months ago. So you'll see it live as I do. All right, I'll start pulling them out. Oh, first we have the 96 Ford Bronco. Same year as OJ's was. <laughs> City of New York, official fire department. Really cool, 96 was the last year for the full-size Bronco. It's got the lights on the roof. Doesn't have the tire care in the back, but I think they all were like that, the cheaper ones didn't have the so that's cool. It's a good way to start. Very cool. Next up is a 77 AMC Matador, Dallas, Texas Fire Department. These were very popular cars back in the day. I think every fire company probably had a Matador, a police station. Uh, of course, it's got the retro, the big old lights on the roof uh, with the big siren. I think they should bring that back. That's cool stuff. They call them the, the gumdrop or gumball lights. Yeah, or, that's what they look like. Yeah. But uh, they, they want everything to be so undercover now. But back in the day, th this was cool stuff. I'm not sure what year they stopped making the Matador. All right, next up is a 2020 Ram 2500 Tradesman, which is their pretty much their base model used for this type of stuff. Bullhead City, Arizona Fire Department. So, of course, it's going to have the black grill and the black mirrors. No chrome on these. And it's got the eight foot bed, big bed. And it's a cool truck. I like the paint job. They have a little, like a bull there in the pinstripe. That's pretty cool. Next up, 1976 Ford Torino. Lombard, Illinois Fire Company. That's pretty cool. That's a really hot color. It's almost like a flat paint like everybody likes today. It's got the swear light on top. Of course, chrome grill. It's like the siren on the fender. Yeah, I think, uh, the, the, again, this was in a lot of police stations back in the day. I used a lot of them. And here's a nice one, a 1985 Chevy K5 Blazer. Of course, K5 stood for Furl Drive. New Haven, Connecticut Fire Department. Yeah, used to see a lot of these too. This one has a removable back. Some of these blazers also had a removable roof, but I think they did away with that because of rollover standards. Later years only came with a solid roof and only the back you could take off. There was one, if you watched Jaws, he drove one where you could, the police, can't think of his name, Brody, yep. drove one where you could take the roof off. Chief Brody. Yeah, and I think those were, blazer guys can fix me on that. If not, I think they only built it a couple of years and it was rare. Pretty cool, you can even see the detail in the hubcaps. Yeah, it looks exactly like the old Chevy. Mm. I shouldn't cool. say old, Chevy kept that for a long time. All right, last but not least, Ooh. 78 Ford F-250 brush truck. Falls in North Carolina Community Volunteer Fire Company. These are a body style that a lot of people like. The original Bigfoot had this body style. Uh, very cool, these always look big, be uh, better with bigger wheels and tires. Um, Really cool piece. It's got the uh, apparatus in the back there. What's that, a pump, Steve, and a hose? Or? Yeah, it looks like a pump, a hose, a couple tools, like a high lift jacket. Now these like. also, being this type of vehicle, do they store water on board? That's a little tank in the little back. Little tank, yeah. okay. Yep, and they probably would put Indian tanks and stuff in them to go in there. Yeah, for what, like a brush fire yeah. type deal? Yeah, the Indian tanks, uh, for those of you that don't know, were like backpacks, heavy metal backpacks that you put on with hoses on them that you physically had to pump. I'm not sure I mentioned this is Series 3, by the way. Series 3. So, just a quick unboxing to show you what's new in the green light. Um, we do have this stuff for sale on our eBay page, TSC Toys. And that's it for today.